do we do while we're waiting? You want to make an arugula salad or something? Why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we love arugula. Where is the arugula? I know I love arugula. Oh my I god. Love it. Eat it see. every day. I've been eating it every day. And that spinach. Aha. I think that you might see it. It's back over here. Baby arugula. Our favorite. I think I'll put a pear in it. And we'll probably get some lemons in a minute. But, okay. And I'm not even going to wash my cutting board. Simply because everything on it has been organic. You can't wash you choose. So, pardon my hands. Now, some people just throw this in a bowl. But because arugula is actually a bitter, which means it's very good for the liver because it, it uh, stimulates the vagus nerve back here when you eat a bitter. And that causes your body to uh, enhance the bile. Sounds odd, but yeah. Everything affects everything. We all know that. So, I chopped this up pretty fine. And... Just happen to have a bowl over here, which is pretty cool. It's going to be a very simple arugula salad. You can just, you know, if you have leftover vegetables or something, organic, of course. It really is worth investing in organic produce. When you invest in organic produce, you're investing in your own health and wellness, and the health and wellness of your family, of course. Am and I talking too much? <laughs> no, and protecting the land too, I'm going to add. Yes, to that. that's true. Yeah, because uh, the additives that they put in the soil is just, that's a whole other topic. Yeah, but and it goes, it goes you know together. A, you know it's a pet peeve of mine. Now, notice that I really am not taking any kind of care what shape they are, if they're uniform, none at all. I'm just chopping it up to the consistency that I think is best for the salad, and I'm going to put it right here on top. Now, for arugula, excuse me, I have to place my hands up a little bit. Mmm, that looks delicious. Yeah, it's going to be good so far. Well, let me see. I know i got lemons. Oh, I think that's up there. We got some fresh organic lemons yesterday, so let's just open this thing up. Mm. And just in case you're wondering what I'm doing, when you roll a lemon before you cut it, it helps to get the juices to kind of come to the surface, come to the top. So, And probably juice of a half a lemon might be just fine. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Let's see how juicy this lemon actually is. Some of you might put a net on. Uh, they have, they sell nets for lemons. You might use a fork instead of a knife to do this. I'm just going to get all the juice that I can out of this lovely, uh oh, well there's a seed in there. It'll be a surprise salad. Yummy. Yeah, what do you think? Think that looks like a bad enough lemon? Could be. Now, um, I grow my own stevia. It's very simple to grow. But if you're going to get stevia, make sure that you go to Trader Joe's and just get stevia 100% organic extract. Because these days, um, actually, I forgot the name of the company, but there's a company that bought <laughs> uh, stevia. The whole, uh, and so most of the tivia, if you go to the store and buy stevia that you think is absolutely just stevia, most of the first ingredients is now dextrose or some other kind. I'm using my, we're using my favorite olive oil that I personally bought in Italy when I was there last month. Came from a little village in the, in the Caracina on the Mediterranean coast. And we're just going to give this a toss. Mm -hmm. You want to not 
just one toss. You really want to get all the leaves to have a little bit of um, olive oil on. So take that extra minute and just keep turning it, especially if you're using stevia or something to make the salad a little tangy and a little sweet, that wonderful flavor. Now I like to put a little feta cheese on it, but that makes it not be completely vegan. So it's up to you. What do you think? Should we put a little feta? I yeah. like feta cheese. Okay. Yes, it's not dairy. It's not really <laughs> dairy. No. While she's getting that, I want to point out something about the PLU number of these lemons. Remember the first digit there. If it wants to focus, almost. Come on. All right. Well, anyway, it doesn't want to focus. Oh, there it is. It nine. nine is fine. <laughs> nine four nine five eight. If it starts with nine, it's yeah. fine. That means it's organic. Nine mm. four is organic. That is true. Always check the numbers. Okay, so. I also get my feta cheese at Trader Joe's because it's nice and I don't get the light or anything else. The fat that's in this kind of cheese, fat that's in uh, organic butter, fat that's in uh, coconut oil, anything like that is, these are the fats that our body knows how to utilize and it's actually very good for us. There you go. And if you add anything extra, I might have a beet in the refrigerator. We cook some beets. Would you think? Would you like me to add the beet? Or sure. No? Oh, okay. Even more nutrients. Yes, more nutrients. And what does the beet do for us health-wise? Well, beets are excellent for your blood. They're excellent for a lot of things. They actually, I think beets one of the food that has K2 in it as well, which is kind of difficult. So, and again, I'm just chopping the beet. I'm not actually making perfect squares. Avocado is wonderful in the salad. Okay, I think we've got that. So, it's random taste. <laughs> And let me plate this salad for us. Mmm. Okay, everybody grab a fork out there. We're going to be tasting the salad in just a moment. <laughs> it really does look amazing. I love the colors and the smell. Mmm. And the only way our viewers are going to get the smell is if they actually make it themselves. Because that doesn't come across the video. But look at those colors. How can anyone look at this and not want to make this salad? It's incredible. Well, and the proof is in the pudding. Well, let's come over here. We've been cooking up a storm, so the kitchen is a little bit cluttered. <laughs> it's a real kitchen for it's real people. It's a real kitchen. Absolutely. It's not just for show, we do stuff in this kitchen. Yes! We make lots of yummy food. God, look at that. That's so incredible. Mm -hmm. It's the art of food. I am absolutely going to capture this video, not only for Periscope, but for our cooking channel as well. It's going to be saved. Yes. Okay. I'll take... Oh, want me to feed you? Sure, because I'm holding the camera with You're my You're holding the camera, so here you go. If I do regular broadcasts, it would be wise to invest in like a camera stand or something. Or something. Mm. You see how colorful that looks? It's like, it probably mm -hmm. tastes just as amazing as it looks or more. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can you not want to make that just by looking at it? Mm. And when you don't blend the dressing, you can pick out the individual flavor of the lemon and uh, the olive oil and For a sure. touch of sweetness. If you like to have more of a blended, just you know, throw all those ingredients in a bullet or something that would blend it up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Are you eating something with us, I hope? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. So we're going to cap off this session, but 
She's a really mm -hmm. brilliant woman. She's a, a PhD in natural health. She's got a website. I recommend you check it out. It's called truelife-solutions.com. Truelife-solutions.com. She's also got a book. She's an international speaker and author. Her book is called The Anatomy of Healing and wellness. I bought a copy. It's a great book. It's a great book. There's a lot of a lot of good information that will help you, and also help you help other people too. And if you want to check out my stuff, I've got thousands of pieces of content, all to do with health, healing, happiness, wellness, all that stuff, and a lot of phil philosophical stuff too, and and freedom and financial freedom. It's fireyourboss.xyz, not com. Dot com. Not .com, it's no. .xyz, fireyourboss.xyz. If you like this, share this with other people. If you know somebody that is looking for a, a quick, easy, tasty, healthy thing to make, uh, share this if you feel it's worthy. Thank Bye, you. everyone. Till the next time, we will see you soon. And connect with us on Facebook, too. Oh. You'll find our social media plugins on our website that I just gave you. Great. Take care, everyone. Okay, bye-bye.